Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, my name is Gabe. If you don't know who I am, I put out a lot of track content on my M3. I have a GT3 as well. and um, I'm going to be doing some content pretty shortly here about my E46 M3 that I've had, but pretty much never make any videos on. So stay tuned for that if you're into E46s because that's pretty interesting stuff too. Uh, but today's video is going to be um, a track battle against a couple S2Ks. If you look through the... Uh, look to the front there and then look in the rear view mirror up top you can go ahead and see I'm trapped and stuck between two S2Ks I wouldn't necessarily say stuck because these guys are these guys are beasts man these guys are hauling ass they're setting times just as quick as I am and uh, I want to definitely give them some credit because um, it was extremely hard to pull away from these guys and uh, it was one of those deals you make one mistake they can capitalize on it and uh, take that spot from you um, this isn't a race, uh, it's o but it's open passing. So pretty much anything goes. Just don't be stupid, don't cause a wreck, and uh, yeah, everybody stay safe. So um, we're doing this through Speed Ventures. Speed Ventures actually hosted about four different challenges this day, which is a shit ton of challenges, right? Um, so you know, between every session, there's always something going on within the session. So. Um, Everyone's trying to set down fast laps right away. Everyone's trying to compete in their own deal. And uh, it made for some good driving, for sure it did. So uh, the cars, I mean, these Hondas are, are pretty hard to, to keep up with. They got, they got all the damn aero, too, you know. They got the wing, they got the splitter. So uh, you notice, like, every turn, they pull some gap on me, or pull some distance on me. And then we go down every straight, like right now, and uh, it really showcased the power and the uh, speed advantage that the F80 had. Um, but other than this guy, I think he maybe had looked a little too much in his rearview mirror. He got it sideways. Um, I'm not quite sure what happened there, but he almost loses it, draws it back in, saves it. I saw an opportunity and got a little excited and slipped the rear end a little loose. But uh, we, we closed we closed the gap on him for sure and. Uh, at this point, I want to make sure that I try and make a, a move as fast as possible. That way, I can start setting down some fast lap times myself. So uh, you'll see here in a bit. We do. Uh, uh, I'm a little aggressive for it. So, uh, but yeah, relying on mechanical grip, how I am over um, doing arrow like these guys are, or you know, or um, cornering which is mechanical grip compared to the arrow is you can see clear point in case right here um, well not right here but against these two cars um, it's pretty difficult you know they, they're lighter than me they uh, I don't know what type of ti uh, tires are running I know uh, a dude commented in my last video in the comment section saying that he was uh, I think I think he is one of the S2Ks that I just either the one I passed or the one that um, just got passed two times if you guys can see that the one that I just passed got passed by the S2K that was on my ass so um, yeah I don't know what tires they're able to run or what they are running but um, the arrow definitely helps out and then the fact that the cars are lighter it's a lot less stress on the tires compared to what I'm putting on the AL52s right now AL52s was about a hmm, actually let's not talk about that I want to go ahead and make a comparison video pretty soon here comparing the AL52 and the AR1, which I know a lot of people are going to be um, excited to see. I know a lot of my guys are, are regular trackers that watch my videos, and uh, those are two tires that uh, you've probably heard of before and, and uh, heard good things about. So I'm going to do a comparison video. I want to wait to get one more track day under my belt with the, S, no, sorry, the AL52s. Um, I want to at least have two track days under both tires. Um, and then I can really start to say that I think I'm qualified to give some sort of opinion on uh, these two tires. So, yeah, we'll see. That'll probably be, in, probably drop like next week or so. Um, 
we got Streets of Willow this weekend, so it'll be nice to uh, get a, a nice technical track under my belt with the AO52s. I absolutely love Streets of Willow. I think it's a great track for anybody to really learn car control. Um, so if you've never been, um, you know, definitely give it a shot. As you look up in the rearview mirror, you can tell though that S2K is not going anywhere, man. So um, I'm really trying to set down some fast laps here. I'm really trying to uh, grow some sort of distance on him um, and not have to give up this spot and have him in front of me. Um, but like I said, through those, those straights, pull some sort of lead and uh, it's pretty nice to have that extra power over these guys. One thing else I wanted to touch on, um, the overlay that I got here. Um, I'm trying to find a custom overlay. I'm trying to talk to some people about hooking me up and, and uh, you know, buying one of theirs or something something cool um, other than this very generic overlay. Um, yeah, I, I also put a lot more information up this time. If you guys uh, could, just drop a comment section below. Let me know what you guys think is helpful and what is not helpful from this overlay. Um, if it's fine, then, then it's fine. But I want to make sure that uh, I'm putting out there, uh, putting useful shit out there for you guys to see. Um, I added the cooling system, the, the oil and the coolant. Um, and I thought for myself it was cool to see. Um, I don't know maybe if you guys like that or not, but um, it was cool to see for me because you know the S55 is got couple it's got a pretty robust cooling system and uh, looking at the data right now I mean it goes all day without even touching 240 you know so uh, it's pretty damn impressive of cooling system the s55 we know is a is really just a technological masterpiece of a motor other than a couple things I will say that the crank hub for one um, and the charge pipes for another um, but I mean if you don't tune the car you don't have to worry about either one of those so um, I, I mean, you might have to worry about the plastic charge pipes but yeah that's about it other than that this motor is beautiful it's uh, I mean obviously it doesn't sound the best we all know that but um, and maybe it's a little too torquey but as far as reliability after a hundred thousand miles I'm at 105 right now with like an insane amount of track days in the past three months almost every weekend since October I've been at the track so um, yeah pretty impressed by this car this motor everything about it it's just solid so um, yeah I, I got nothing to say uh, I got nothing bad to say about the s55 for all my uh, f8x owners out there this is definitely something that you guys should be taking advantage of um, and not just be doing street racing. I think everyone should enjoy a track day um, and see what it's about because uh, these these cars are more than capable. Um, crossing the finish line, heading into turn one, and we're coming up on um, Build Journal. If you guys don't know who he is, check him out on Instagram. He's got his own store. His name's Andrew. I've talked to him a few times now. Uh, super cool guy, super nice, very willing to hand out advice. Um, he's also a competitor of mine in class. Uh, he set down a one officially for the competition. He set down a 155.1, I think. He ended up setting down a 154 later in the last session. Um, so I was still a whole two seconds off of finishing on a po on the podium. Um, so I definitely have my work cut out for me, and I definitely want to uh, get some more seat time um, before the start of next season because I feel like I can be there. I feel like with more seat time, with better driver mod. Um, I could definitely be competing every event with these guys and uh, also I, I want to go ahead and keep using street tires for events that are not Brimmer Challenge. So anytime I come to a Brimmer Challenge event next year I think I'm going to roll up with some slicks and um, hopefully with that better driver mod and the more grip that I'll get, more mechanical grip, um, you know, I should be able to compete with the best of these guys. That'll be nice. So we'll see. We'll see. That's just the plan right now. Uh, I know I have people ask me about Arrow, but um, Arrow bumps me up into the next class, and uh, the next class is like full-blown race cars. My boy Eric in the M2 competition, he's fast, but uh, the cars in that class are just absolutely ridiculous. 
um, I think first place in B1 set of 156 or 155. Sorry, 146 or 145. I can't remember. But uh, yeah, this is the conclusion of this video. Um, I'm curious to see what position this S2K behind me finished. So if you're here, please drop in the comment section and let me know. Other than that, later.